Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another episode of Tinkercad TV. So let's get cracking. Now, friends, the goal of every episode of Tinkercad TV is to entertain and inspire. Today's design is really awesome, so let me show you what we got. Friends, today's designs come from Tinkercad designer Goatee, or Michael. He is from Louisiana, and I got the coolest letter from him mentioning how he had followed a few tutorials and was starting to make his own epic stuff. So check this out. It is a spray table. It has several simple shapes. You can see there's a cone, cylinder, the cutout for the little wheel that goes right here, and there are notes. So first, let's note this base section where the wheels and axles slot into is then flipped over so that the cone sits as the base. This note right here is me writing back to Michael saying, hey, I think that is pretty fantastic. This is the top section of the spray table, and I'll show you a picture of this in a minute. It is upside down for printing purposes so that we don't need supports. Super smart choice. And then this is the roller wheel. And then finally, this is the axle for the roller wheels. They feed through and then drop down in to this base section. What a slick creation. Real quickly, here you can see it printed. And one of my favorite parts about this was it's created for his wife. She makes custom tumblers and this helps her display them and paint them. As we scroll down, check it out. Awesome storage containers. Keeping things organized for the craft projects. And a custom drip tray for the dog's kennel. How cool is that? Now the second cool one is the tumbler sleeve that is a TARDIS. Of course, we'll have to open it and check it out. We have got a fun tumbler sleeve that is a TARDIS. Now one thing I want to show off is how cool it is when you change your background to a different color. Let's make this a tan and then also hide the grid which is super handy for building, but it's fun to take a look at things without them when you're done. Much cooler for creating screenshots as well. Now, what I love about this is Michael used all kinds of basic shapes. There are rectangles everywhere. Of course, there is a cylinder cut into it, and it ends up being a sweet project just made with the basic skills that we start out using Tinkercad. Now, Michael originally reached out with a note about how he was just starting in Tinkercad. Tinkercad and noted how cool it was that he could get through just a few tutorials and then start to connect the dots on how to build his own amazing projects. Of course, that absolutely made my day and I figured I'd take a moment to share his epic creations. And of course, here is a look at it 3D printed. What a fantastic job. Great work with the tolerances. So cool to see your project come to life. Nice work on the projects, Michael, and I hope you and your wife have fun exploring Tinkercad and 3D printing. Friends, remember, if you ever create something awesome and want to share it with me, it is so darn easy. All you need to do is click up here on the collaboration button, generate a link, copy that link, and you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Friends, if those options don't work for you, don't forget there is also my website, HLModTech.com. I have got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. You can also find my day one lessons, useful starters, and and the Tinkercad Essentials. Friends, down at the bottom, you'll also find a link to the built-in messaging tool. If you click that button, you can add your question, comment, or suggestion and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, as you can see, we've got more than 700 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Friends, I do also want to let you know that right under the Essentials is my Tinkercad profile. When you click that link, you will see all of my designs sorted by most recent. Don't forget if you click on any design under the property, you will likely find a tutorial that'll help you build it yourself. Of course, friends, reactions are also appreciated. If you'd rather see them sorted by the total likes, you can click here and you can check out my most popular projects. Of course, no matter which design you pick, there will be a tutorial. Don't forget, friends, there are also circuit designs and code block designs that you can check out as well. 
Friends, as we wrap up this episode of Tinkercad TV, I just want to say thanks again to Michael for sharing your epic creations and let me know you're having fun while learning Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.